Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about my go-to current foundation routine. Um, it's been a while since I uploaded it. I have like a really, really old one, but I wanted to do an updated one um, as to how I've been doing my foundation lately um, because obviously my skin has changed. Also, my preference and products have also changed. Um, and it's also a follow-up to my last foundation video where I did one side um, the way I normally did it before and then one side was basically the reverse foundation. So yeah, we're going to get right into it. As usual, the products will be down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you're new here, welcome. Welcome. please do subscribe hit that notification bell and let's jump right into the tutorial all right so my skin's already moisturized and prepped I am going to be going in with a hydrating oil from milk um, I've been using this lately because um, it's nice and hydrating like it says and at the same time it just helps the products to slide onto my face so much more better I'm just gonna apply this all over and rub it in with my fingers. I'm also taking my Physicians Formula Spotlight Primer. This is a really nice illuminating primer, but I really like to accentuate my high points and it just helps for the skin to get a little bit more dewy. Now for concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I'm in the shade Medium. I'll always zoom you guys in a little bit more. That's better. And again, I'm actually using my fingers a lot because I find that these products just blend so much nicer um, with the warmth of my fingers. My cream bronzer, I'm using the same product, but I'm using this in the shade Warm Olive. I'm going to blend this out with a brush. It's like an angled brush from NYX. It's great for contouring. It's actually meant for contouring, so I'm just going to lightly blend this out. And I'm kind of bringing it in just a little bit too, into my cheek area here. For blush, I'm going to be using obviously another cream product. This is the ColourPop Blush Stick. This is in the shade Flamenco, and it's from the uh, Peony for Your Thoughts collection here. So I'm actually going to be taking this and with a stippling blush brush, this is from Real Techniques, I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that shade and then start to apply. And it's just like a really nice soft pink color. It actually looks brighter in the two, but as you apply it, it actually blends out really nicely. Now I know that I'm going a little bit heavier with this cream product, but as we apply the foundation on top, everything is just going to match really seamlessly. So for foundation, I'm going to be mixing two of my favorite foundations, but they're like two different finishes. So this is the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte uh, Foundation, and I'm going to be mixing in the Fenty Beauty Hydrating. I've been loving this technique to add one like, you know, dewy, like a really dewy product and then like a matte product and combining it together. It just gives me a really good, happy medium. In the soft matte foundation, I'm taking the shade 360, and for the hydrating foundation, I'm taking the shade 290, and I'm going to be applying a light layer. I took too much in the back of my hand, but I'm going in with a very light layer, and I'm going to use the same stippling brush, but I've wiped it off really well so that there's no blush left, and I'm just going to start right here and start applying it to my skin. I know that the shade right now seems that it's a little too light for me, but this foundation sets a half a shade darker. And in real life, this actually looks a lot better. It looks more natural. It doesn't look over the top or overly done, which is why I have been gravitating towards this technique a lot. I'm just taking my Laura Mercier setting powder to set under my eyes. That's the only area that I really need to set, even in the winter time or in the drier months. And therefore, I just go in and set it very lightly. All right, guys, at this point, I went ahead and finished the rest of my face. Um, now you can sit back and sort of assess your face to say that if you want a little bit more blush, bronzer, highlighter, and all that, frankly speaking, from what I can tell, my face is still has dimension, but everything looks very even. 
I prefer this look over the heavier blush and the heavier contour and the heavy highlight look. And if I'm looking at my face right now in the mirror, I can still see that my face has luminosity on this side as the light is hitting. Um, but again, it's not looking as if the products are sitting on top. You can still see definition of my face. You can still see that my face does have a little bit of a glow and youth and color. At this point, I'm going to go in and add a little bit more blush, um, only because I want my cheeks to be a little bit more flush and it's also not translating onto the camera the way I want it to. This is the um, Wet n Wild Keep It Peachy blush and it's basically my favorite blush of all time. You guys can see that this blush just added a little bit more warmth and color back into my skin but nothing over the top. That is all I have for you this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. Leave comments down below as to what you guys think about this reverse foundation technique. If you guys want to know how I created the eye look and the products that I used for my eyes, head over to my Instagram. I have a tutorial over there and I'll leave the link to my Instagram and all my other social media platforms down below. Please make sure to subscribe and like the video and also hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!